Hey, my name is Camille and today I'm gonna be shipping this painting, but I'm not gonna ship it this way because it's quite large and that would cost a lot of money. So I'm gonna ship it in this tube. And in this video, I'll show you how I take the painting off the stretcher bars, roll it up securely and put it in this tube ready for sending. So keep watching for that. One, I have this screwdriver I can change the tip off and I'm using this very pointy thing over here to get under the staples of the canvas in the wood and to kind of whip them out. And as for the packing materials, I'll use this paper as a little bit of extra protection when I roll up the painting, the tube of course, and then I'll use this awesome paper I used to play with as a child to protect the tube finally before shipment. What you want to do is put the painting face down on a surface that's clean and soft so it won't damage the painting in any way. What I use is just a piece of cloth on the floor. I clean it regularly. Uh, it's, it's very soft, but I'm sure you can improvise something. Once the painting is secured, what you want to do is get the pointy screwdriver and this way get it under one of the staples and just move it up like that so the staple gets gets out of the wood at least at one side. Next, what you want to do is use this guy and just get the, the other part of the staple and remove it this way. This you can repeat for the entire process with the entire painting. And that's the last one. Well, now you can feel on the sides like everything is nice and loose and it's ready to take off entirely the canvas of the stretcher bars. Now we have the painting separated, it's time to roll it up. Always roll it up with the painting, the picture side on the outside, as I will demonstrate. I'll cover the back side of the painting with this piece of paper, so when I roll it up, the outside of the painting, where the picture is, won't touch the, ba the back of the painting, since it could be perhaps damaged if there's anything, any structure on the back of the painting. Then I'll add a layer of bubble plastic for protection for inside the tube. That should be enough. There it is. Just add two little pieces of tape to secure it. That should work. Then I'll just put this entire piece into the tube. Now since there's quite a bit of excessive space in the tube left, I'll cut this down since it'll save on cost since it will become a smaller package. The lid will fit fine. The painting is inside. One more layer of plastic bubble foil and it's ready to go. Just tape this all together. That looks great. That was pretty easy and fast. It's almost ready to go. It only needs its labels for the carrier to go to its final destination. Once it's there, of course, it will need to be stretched again on the stretcher bars, but this is a way more economical way of shipping your work across the world. As this one, it goes from Mexico today to the Netherlands in Europe. In only about two or three days, it arrives. Happy shipping. Avenida Arocarias, por favor. Gracias.